Okay, team, I'm going to do the most important video in this section. And I, I just want to rip off the Band-Aid in phonics real quick. And I just want to cover these major rules because they're going to start to appear in all the questions that we do. And we're going to slowly go over them as we go through the rest of this phonics section and into the encoding section. So let's just get, get it over with right now and review some of these major phonics patterns, okay? All right, let's begin. CVC words. This is the most basic. This is for that beginner reader in the, as they start the decoding process. CVC words like cat and hat and sat. And uh, these are core words, right? And sit and mit. These are core words that we want that a student is able to start to decode once they know the alphabetical process. So a beginner reader would start with CVC words because they now, with the alphabetical uh, principle, they know how to match up graphemes with their predictable phonemes to correctly decode and pronounce the word. Okay, now let's add on blends and constant diagraphs. You're going to see these in like, uh, C, this is a CVCC word. And this one right here is a CCVC word. So there's different ways you can mix these up. But blends like uh, we see the MP in camp or ST in stuck or the, uh, 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 or, or let's say uh, blend. Blend has two in the beginning and the end. These are consonant blends. Or con uh, this is when we have two consonants that are blended together. So there's two separate sounds. You have to explicitly sort of go over this, especially when you're doing phonological and phonemic awareness. Make sure that a student is able to hear all the sounds in a word like stuck or blend or camp so that when it comes time for the decoding process and they're, they're reading a word like camp, they already, uh, they've already been trained to hear the sounds in the word camp. So they can hear the m and p, m, camp, right? Or st in stuck or bl in blend. So we do those explicit phonics activities like say it and move it or some type of um, uh, phoneme segmentation activity where we're s where we practice that phoneme isolation and blending, segmenting and blending, because it's gonna help when it comes time to decode these words. And uh, um, constant diagraphs, very common. And this would be like the next level up, you know, the SH in ship, the CH in champ, uh, the PH, uh, the PH in phone, the WH in what, the uh, TH in the, Right, these are common consonant diagraphs. Remember, consonant diagraph is when you have two consonants that make one sound. That's a consonant diagraph. Now, these ones right here that I have right here, they're all very basic. These are the ones you're going to find in uh, the most basic words. They're uh, for a beginner reader, um, and uh, these are the ones that come first. As we go on, we'll start to teach other phonics patterns and look for other syllable phonics patterns in words, and so. So I have the next one I'm going to put down is vowel diagraphs. A vowel diagraph is when you have two vowels that make one sound. And we have, uh, we have vowel diagraphs like the double E in sheep or the, the OA in boat, right? Or the uh, AI in rain. Fix that rain. Uh, that's supposed to be rain. So I'll circle these ones right here. Or the double O in moon. Okay, or look. So let me let's focus on these ones for a moment. These are considered vowel diagraphs. They're all considered vowel diagraphs because each one of these words, sheep, boat, rain, moon, have two vowels that make one sound. That's a vowel diagraph. If we want to look at that subset or a, a group of vowel diagraphs within this group, that have two vowels that make one sound where the first vowel is long, then we're gonna be looking at words like sheep with the double E, or boat with the OA, or rain with the AI. And these are where the first one is long and the second one is silent. We call this the subset vowel pairs. So if you wanted to be fancy and add that in, you could, pairs, okay? Uh, the next one are diphthongs. So team, the reason why I'm reviewing this and I'm calling this the most important uh, video in this section is because a lot of teachers, they're new to this, right? And, you know, this might be all they need to identify 
um, mistakes in phonics, name them, define them, and put this in their essay. And this is enough. This is enough for a reading specialist to write a wonderful essay. If they're able to point out that the students struggled in phonics with consonant blends and consonant clusters and vowel diagraphs, that, that would be an amazing essay for your first essay. So that's enough to do a great job. So we're just trying to make it accessible. I want to make it accessible to everyone. So we're just going through the most common and the most basic all on one sheet. Yes. So that you can embed this in your essays. Okay. And it will also help us with the rest of the class because I'll be using this vocab. So get all these down. And then of course we can go into them in more depth and many of them we will, but for now, get these ones down. Okay. A diphthong. The diphthong is like oi and boy. And we said before, before, or at some point in the class, we will mention that there's a, there, if you touch your throat, jaw, and mouth like this, and you say, oi, oi, you know it's a diphthong when your mouth, uh, throat, and tongue move. So I could say, oi, and there's a blending of the sound, oi, you see that movement? That, that's the two sounds blending together that are being co-articulated together. Uh, so words like boy or oil or, or, um, or uh, uh, or anything we ow, out, right? These are all considered diphthongs. And this is a little harder because it's actually two sounds being being co-articulated and smooshed together. Out, and there's movements in the mouth. This stuff would have to be, you know, clarified. It's a little harder than the, the diagraphs because they only make one sound, like a diagraph if I touch my throat and I say the shh, in ship or the e in sheep my mouth and tongue and throat don't move so it's just one sound Shh, e but with a with a diphthong oi there is movement so it makes it a little trickier okay so you want to be able to spot blends diagraph consonant diagraphs uh vowel diagraphs and diphthongs now let's get to a little harder so now we're doing systematic beginner beginner Beginner, intermediate, intermediate, uh, intermediate, advanced. Now we're going to get to a little harder. We're going to get to clusters. There's actually three types of clusters. Um, there are clusters uh, that are going to have three things. So a, a constant cluster is when we have a group of consonants strung together. And it could be any a cluster could, it's, it's a type of blend. Usually we think of a cluster as maybe three or more um, consonants. But here we're going to look at clusters where there's there's three or more letters. And here we have three letters, three letters in in screen that make three sounds. S -k three letters, three sounds. Those are the hardest to um, sometimes decode because they have three distinct sounds in them. It's easy to drop a sound. OK, in a constant cluster like this. So this is the first type of constant cluster. A consonant cluster where there's three letters, three sounds. The second type of consonant cluster is like in the word three. three you see this screen and street. That's the three, three letters, three sounds. Another type of consonant cluster is like the word three. It has three letters, but there's only two sounds because the one of the letters is a diagraph. So it's uh, the TH is its own sound. That's one sound. And the R is its own sound. So this is three letters, two sounds. It's a little harder. We could still call it, a, if you want, well, let's just keep calling it a, a consonant cluster because it is a consonant cluster where we have three consonants that are there. Uh, <clears throat> three or school, right? This is another one. There's a consonant cluster. This has three letters, two sounds. There's the S and then the CH is a diagraph, constant diagraph. So this can be a little harder, a little confusing. How about the third one? Uh, a constant cluster like this one, like watch, or let me write down words like uh, bright, the I-G-H in bright, or, uh, uh, or right as the same, that has the same one, right, bright. You notice uh, there is a constant cluster there it's, th it's three, it's not, this one has a vowel in it. This one, these ones have vowels, but here we have three things, a cluster that make one sound, right? 
So that is, we have three le three letters that make one sound. Those are tricky. Those are a type of constant cluster that has a special name. We call constant clusters where there are three things and one sound. We call these things trigraphs. Okay, so whenever you see three letters that make one sound, we can call that, um, we can call that a trigraph. Um, now look, if I'm get, throwing you off with all this vocabulary, just get the basics, okay? So a constant blend is two letters that make two sounds, a constant diagraph and a vowel diagraph, a constant diagraph, two constants that make one, uh, one sound, a vowel diagraph, two vowels that make one sound, a diphthong, it's two letters that are co-articulated and mixed together. Uh, clusters have three things. Some co constant clusters have three things, three sounds like screen and street. Some constant clusters have three letters that make two sounds like the, the thrut in three and the scut in school. Some constant clusters have three things that make one sound. They're called trigraphs like the TCH in watch and the IGH in bright. Okay. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> but this is an important slide. Okay, last one. Uh, 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 this actually, it has controlled R. Uh, we have R controlled words. You hear that, R controlled syllables, R controlled words. The, 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 the introduction to syllables, R controlled syllables. Okay, that's one way of to saying these things. We're going to right now just call it R controlled words, and, and we'll get to the different types of syllable patterns later on. But R controlled, do you ever see R controlled words? That's anything with a, you know, with a R in it. And what the R does in the word like car is it modifies, it modifies the vowel sound, okay? Modifies it just enough to, um, to make it not short and not long. So you see this in words like car or, or turn. It's not a, it's not a, in, ca, in car, it's not a ah, like cat. It's not a ah, like cat, like it's not ka. <laughs> We're not parking that ka. <laughs> and it's not long a either. It's right. And, and same thing with turn. It's not t or it's not an uh sound. It's not a u sound. It's a modified sound. Or uh, in the word uh, surprise, surprise. It's right there. It's not long u, it's not short u. So R control is a very common one, and, and you should be able to spot if a student's having difficulty with R control words. And there's one that should be here that we will be will be doing a lot, but but there's one that we should definitely do, and that's a silent E or magic E. These are words in the words like save and move and gave. Okay, there's that, and, and there's other combinations of magic E as well. But but whenever we have that. Um, silent e here that silent e that e at the end it makes this vowel long so we we think of that as magic e or, or long vowel or any type of combination that you know of that that that's a very important one that we'll see so look i gave you 11 11 different phonics patterns to think about um cvc words blends constant diagraphs vowel diagraphs diphthongs Clusters, a whole bunch of different types of clusters. Um, we could just say constant clusters for now, and you can study those three different types of constant clusters. Controlled R, silent E, or magic E. Okay, and there's more, you know, that we'll add on in the class. Let's. I'm glad that we're getting this out of the way, and, and now you can study these, okay?